What's poppin', y'all? Kanye West just decided to wage war on Adidas as well as The Gap. He put out this post where he says in the caption, Welp, I guess the war is not over. And it's a document that he got sent over. And it says, Summary of restrictions on Yeezy standalone activities under licensing and endorsement agreement with Adidas and strategic agreement with Gap. Restriction. Neither Yeezy nor Ye, this is in reference to Kanye West, because I believe he legally changed his name to Ye, may use, wear, sponsor, promote, market, advertise, endorse, design, manufacture, license, sell, or provide consulting services with respect to any of the following products under the Yeezy trademarks or Ye's likeness or any other identifiable attribute, feature, or indica of Ye, e.g., so even Donda, Pablo or Jesus walks. And then he says restricted apparel, restricted accessories, restricted footwear, streetwear, sportswear, etc. I posted this on Instagram, which you should follow me at hell you seen. He basically got banned temporarily, at least from wearing any Yeezy brand, any of the brands that are associated with him, because they're still going through legal issues. And in response, Kanye West decides to post this and then he posts the board of directors for I believe it looks like the gap and he lists all their names I think this is foul he does this and he knows what his fans are going to do and Kanye West stands I'm, I'm coming for Kanye West stands in this video as much as rap fans like to come at oh Nicki Minaj stands Kanye West fans are Kanye West stands are the male Nicki Minaj stands or the, the straight male Nicki Minaj stands, for the most part, because, you know, most of Nicki Minaj's male stands aren't, you know, straight dudes. And then he continues the next day, saying, Who are the real decision makers at Adidas? Torben is an effing idiot. Torben stole my designs. Adidas stole my designs. They did the Balenciaga collaboration without my knowledge, and then stopped my Balenciaga Gap shoes from going to market. Nobody call me and ask me if I'm sleeping. It's war. We deaded Gap. Now it's Adidas time. And then he says, let's put Adidas council and our council in one room and figure this out in one session. No more stalling. Let's get it over with. And then he says, Harold's realer than John Legend and Kid Cudi. <laughs> I just find it's funny. You know, Kid Cudi stays catching strays. He says, my issue is the unfairness. I'm not trying to take advantage of Adidas. I'm making sure we never get taken advantage again. Thank you to the owners of Harold's for your loyalty. They told G that they wouldn't do a deal with Adidas until me and Adidas was cool. That's some real Chicago stuff. Love y'all for that. I ain't even know there was still loyalty like that after these past few years. Love you for real. The same treatment that I gave Joe Budden when it came to his corporate sponsors and the people he decided to do business with is the same treatment that I'm going to give Kanye West here. Kanye West had an issue with Nike. He had an issue when he did a collaboration shoe with uh, Louis Vuitton. Now he has an issue with Adidas. Now he has an issue with Gap. It seems to be that the recurring theme here, the problem, is Kanye West. And I think when Kanye West runs into something where people aren't just bending over backwards for him, he just doesn't know how to handle it. And that seems to be the case with these companies number one if you bring some designs they're going to try and use those designs in other means that you're not getting paid but you have a deal with them and the problem is Kanye West wants to leverage his fans to harass the board of directors of these companies because his only leverage is hey my fans he has the public opinion and this is why I think it's great when academics spoke to Vlad and they both talked about it that certain companies should have spokespersons for example T-Mobile their CEO he's vocal the Dallas Mavericks you have I can't believe I forgot Mark Cuban damn I, there's no way his name was going to escape me you have Mark Cuban he's a spokesperson he can speak on the behalf of the Dallas Mavericks if anybody ever tries to speak on them in some sort of way same thing with Barstool Sports you have that pizza review guy I can't believe I'm forgetting his name Stool Presidente. 
David something. I don't know. You know who I'm talking about, though. You have Barstool. He can represent. But with these big corporations, you don't have anybody. So it's really just Kanye West, who people like. And he's positioning this whole, hey, we're. I'm not doing this for me, which is exactly what Kanye West is doing in every single thing he's ever done. No, I'm doing this for everybody. Remember when Kanye West was talking about artists and masters and he was trying to get his record deal fixed and he put out his entire contract and he was going to give the masters back to his artists? 070 Shake, do you have your masters back from good music? Designer, do you have your masters back for Panda and the songs you released on good music? Big Sean, do you have your masters back? As a matter of fact, Big Sean went on that show with Drink Champs. And he told them Kanye West owes him money, although it could be the standard. But Kanye West was doing the same thing to these guys that the record label did to him, and he just made it a big cause so he can get the outcome for himself. This has always been Kanye West, always looking after himself. I'm not saying it's wrong to look after yourself, but when you position it like, oh, this is for the greater good, this is for us. No, it's not. Kanye West did not have to work with Adidas. They did him a massive favor. And we have to look at it. Not like they're taking advantage of him. You got to think, Adidas has been a company, oh, wow, maybe 70 years in business? No, maybe even 80 years. I think they started in the 40s because I remember when, because they're a German company, when, uh, you know, when you know what was going on in Germany in the 40s, these guys were working as shoe, they were making shoes at a different company. They were, they were two brothers. The guy that started Puma and the guy that started Adidas. They used to have, I think it was Deutschen Fabric or something like that. So they had a shoe company. So this it, this might be 80 years that we're talking here. A company or 70 years. Let's just say 50 years, right? We'll lowball it. 50 years, this company has been refining the way that they make shoes. Refining the way that they make clothes, apparel. Not only that. But they've been constantly talking to manufacturers, suppliers, overseas, factories, etc. Refining the process, making iterations to make it as smooth as possible to not only create the best possible products, but to get them shipped and to keep them at a certain price point for the buyer. And they loaned you that and said, hey, look, we're going to partner up with you. We're going to handle all of that. You're just going to help us. Give us some input on design and allow us to use your name, which did Adidas a big favor. Kanye West, I'm not going to say, I'm, I'm giving Kanye West criticism here and Kanye stands, but I'm not going to play like, man, Kanye West didn't do nothing for Adidas. No, 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 no. Kanye West helped Adidas a lot. The Ultra Boosts, the NMDs, people were wearing them post-2015, ever since the Yeezy Original 750 and the Turtle Dove 350. Adidas was just on an upswing with everything. Just he helped them get a hold of culture. And Nike and Adidas have always relied on popular figures. They brought, what I'm saying is they brought just as much value, if not more value, than Kanye West brought. Because Kanye West, if he was so great, he could have just done all of this by himself. He didn't need them. Well, he did need them because they optimized the process. But he could have gone through all of this and made his own shoes and distributed his own shoes. But the truth is, I don't think Kanye West could have done that at that time. Maybe he could now. I'm not sure. But to be able to satisfy the demand that Kanye West would get, he needs these companies. That's their specialty. So I think he's trying to out-exchange them. That's my belief from what I've seen. And they're standing on it like, nah, you're not about to out-exchange us. We did a lot for you. We helped you so much. And for you to try and and play us like this and have us bend over backwards and you basically run our billion dollar companies that has been built over 50 plus years that's not happening so i think they're just standing up for themselves but it's always the big bad corporation and connie west the only one with a voice so it makes it seem to number one his stands and as well as people that are sympathetic to the cause of you know the small man versus the big corporation they just rally behind it but if you look into it more there's no way there's something wrong with everybody except you, Kanye West. And that just doesn't add up. And I think Kanye West was also talking about how nobody at Gap could tell him about money when he went on that television. I think it was CNBC. He went on live television talking about the Gap. It's just to a level of arrogance. And I think Kanye West is one of those people. Let's give him credit. 
He is a musical genius. But there are certain people, and even in fashion, we'll give him his credit there too. But there are certain people that dominate a field, maybe two fields, and they become arrogant in thinking that that genius that they have in those two fields can transfer to everything when that's not the case. And people know their limitations. It takes a smart person and a humble person to know their limitations and say, you know what, this is my expertise, this individual or this company, this is their expertise, and I'm going to let them handle that. And of course, that takes a degree of trust too. And a great example of this is him starting that school. So he wants to do schools, he wants to do communities, he wants to do fashion, he wants to do music. You just can't do all of that. And on top of that, when we talk about somebody who is ignorantly arrogant, he wants to start a school or he kind of has a school. And let me just read you this quote. He was doing an interview with somebody and he says, I actually haven't read any book. Reading is like eating Brussels sprouts for me. And talking is like getting the Giorgio Baldi corn ravioli. Comparing talking to a famous pasta dish that's served at Santa Monica restaurant, Giorgio Baldi. So he found it a private school. He said he's a bigger fan of good conversation. Listen, dog, you're not going to tell me talking about school and you've never read a book. Sure, you may say, hey, some people have different learning styles. Less, re But reading is fundamental. You need to be reading books, especially when it comes to school. You're not going to tell me, man, we don't need reading. Oh, we're, we're traveling backwards now. Sure, diff people have different learning styles, but everybody needs to learn how to read. And somebody that has never read a book, self-proclaimed, although I do think he has read a book or two, at least. There's no way. I'm giving him some credit here. I'm trying to say he's exaggerating. But in any regard, somebody that hasn't read a book from his own mouth, probably hasn't read in a very long time, you're going to tell me that he should be starting a school. Come on. And he should be head of the academy of a private school. No, he shouldn't. And that's just when you're when you're successful and you have an arrogance about you, you think you can succeed in everything. For example, politics. Kanye West will never succeed in politics. Stamp that. If I'm ever wrong, let me know. That whole presidential run, like it's cool that you tried to do something like that. I respect it. But you know nothing about politics. You have no experience in it. It's just not going to work. So his politics run failed. We're about to see how this school thing fails. Music and fashion, that worked out great. But I think it takes a humble and intelligent person to know, okay, this is my limitations. Or this is how far I can go. Let me just see if I can keep breaking the barrier on these things that I already excel at. As opposed to trying to do something, especially in the public sphere, that crazy. But let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you enjoyed. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you for watching. Peace.